Our theme for today's episode is become a time creator. Do you constantly feel like you don't have enough time for all the things you want to do? That used to be me big time. Back when my kids were little, I used to feel like I was running around town like a chicken with my head cut off. I was constantly hitting snooze on my alarm clock and oversleeping, constantly running late, constantly feeling behind, feeling like I was a bad mom and just a hot mess. But my attitude towards time has changed significantly since then, and I'm stoked to share with you my tips on this. Today, we're gonna talk about how to create plenty of time for all the things that matter to you. Are you ready to become a time creator? Keep watching, here we go. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids and I'm married and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things. We're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. It's time for the question of the day. This is the part of the show where I share a question for you, the beautiful person who's watching right now. Here's our question of the day. If you had an extra five hours of free time this week, what would you do with it? Post your answer down below in the comments. Would you take those five hours and go on long, beautiful walks? Play with your pet? Surprise your partner with a sexy date night experience? Or take yourself on a hot date? I'm excited to see what you share. It's time for another round of lows and highs. Are you feeling low, stuck in a crummy situation and not sure how to get out of it? Need a lift? Send your dilemma to me and I might reply to your email on this show. So today's email comes from Jo and here's her situation. Dear Susan, I constantly feel stressed about time. I've tried everything, setting my alarm to wake up earlier, productivity apps on my phone, bullet journaling, checklist, seriously, I feel like I've tried a million things and yet no matter what, I always feel like I'm running out of time, never have enough time, and I'm always drowning and overwhelmed. It's the classic too much to do, not enough time dilemma. Hello, Joe. Oh my gosh, just reading your email caused my stress levels to spike up a little bit and I'm sorry you've been feeling tense and frenzied, but we can get you feeling a lot better. So starting right now, here's my advice for you. When you notice yourself feeling stressed and time crunched, check in with yourself. What's happening in your mind? Eavesdrop on your own thoughts and identify a low quality thought. An example might be, I never have enough time. Change the channel. Switch to a high quality thought. I have plenty of time. That might not feel true right now, so choose a high quality thought that feels energizing, but also truthful, like, I'm learning how to be a time creator. I'm learning how to say no more often and clean up my schedule. I'm learning how to manage my time differently and things are improving. Edit your mind ruthlessly. I guarantee 50% of the things that you're doing are non-essential activities. So audit your calendar. Every single item ask, am I legally contractually bound to do this? Do I really need to do this? Does this activity bring me money, energy, or joy? If not, bye, it does not belong on your schedule. Maybe this week you can make a few small changes, delete a few things from your schedule, say no a little more often, and delegate a few more chores, and boom. You just freed up an extra five hours. Hello, that's five hours of space you didn't have before. That's how you become a time creator. You ruthlessly and creatively find ways to create time that you didn't have before. You can do this. Maybe you can create five hours this week, 
eventually 10 hours, 20 hours, it's limitless. You can create all the time you need. Who's ready for a two minute upgrade? I'm gonna demonstrate how to upgrade a part of your life in two minutes or less. Big results, big improvement, big upgrade, and just a tiny little bit of time. So here we go. Today, let's upgrade your bedtime routine. When you have a beautiful evening routine, you fall asleep faster, you sleep better, you wake up feeling refreshed, you have more energy the next day, and more energy means you can get more done in less time. And you know, I'm all about productivity and efficiency and freeing up more time. So here's some bedtime tips for you. Number one, I make sure to lay out, I talked about this in a different episode, my workout clothes the night before. Um, I look at this cute new journal that Holly from my agency made, making it rain. I write down in my journal, usually right before I go to bed, some highs and lows. Um, three things I'm grateful for. Um, I usually spend the last 30 minutes before I go to bed reading a new book. So this is a new book called Limitless that I'm excited to crack open tonight. One thing that I do before I even come up here is I go through my go time planner. I write down my to-do list and my schedule for the next day so it's cleared out of my brain. I don't turn my phone off, but I put it on vibrate and I put my alarm to 4.45 a.m., yes, really. And I try not to scroll once I get into bed. Um, so I've got my workout clothes laid out. I've worked in my journal. I've read a little bit. How are you going to upgrade your bedtime routine? Pick out at least one tiny upgrade that you could make and do it. Oh, hey, do you run a business or side business or do you intend to launch one soon? Are you currently earning less than 100K per year? Would you like to start earning 100K per year and above? If so, listen up because you're invited to apply to On The Six. On The Six is a program for coaches, consultants, and other service providers and business owners. And it's all about getting you to that six figure mark and beyond. You'll work with me and my team. We'll work on your mindset, your business plan, your marketing and sales systems, your daily routine, the way you spend your time, all of it. Apply now to be considered for this program, and after applying, you'll be invited to have a quick phone call to discuss the program in more detail and determine if it's right for you. More info is here. Space is limited, so be sure to apply soon. Here's a question I love asking everyone I meet. What's something small, inexpensive, or free that makes you feel rich? Here's something that makes me feel like a million bucks. This hammock. Listen, taking a 10 minute nap helps you feel rich and powers you up for the rest of the day. You don't literally need a hammock to do this. The point is taking a mini break helps you feel rich and helps you create more time, more energy, get things done faster, blah, blah, blah. Listen, let me tell you something. Coming out here and sitting in this hammock and listening to these birds and looking at Juliet tromp all over my yard makes me feel super rich. Feel rich to get rich. This has been Go Time TV. If this show has brought a little positivity into your day, click the thumbs up below, do it, boom, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm excited for you to become a time creator. You can do this. Start looking for creative ways to free up one extra hour this week, then five, then 10, then 20. Start thinking about time as something you can create abundantly rather than something that you're always chasing and hoarding and you never have enough of. This mindset shift makes a huge difference in how you feel and how you live. Thanks for taking some time to watch this episode. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. You only get one life, make it count. It's go time. Today, let's upgrade bedtime routine. I'm usually not in full hair makeup, but. <laughs>